Hi guys, just after we finished testing the video cards, Nvidia released a new driver for its RTX series lineup and they have some pretty bold claims about the DX12 performance. So we decided to run a quick test to see how much of it is true at least for the GeForce RTX 2080. And in the meanwhile, we decided also to compare the beta driver that we got for the Radeon RX 5700 with the final driver on the AMD side. So here are the results. As you can see, the difference in most of the DX12 and Vulkan games we tested is minimal, with the exception of the Division 2, where the GeForce RTX 2080 gained just a bit above uh, the margin of error, that is 3% in the averages and about 8% in the minimums. And the second big, big gain was in Apex Legends that we decided to test because of the relatively bad performance of the card in our initial review. There you have around 7% in the averages and 9% in the minimums. Meanwhile, on the AMD side, differences are most of the time in the margin of error, though there are a few notable exceptions. First one is the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, where the minimums went down around 10%. And the second one is again in Apex Legends, where AMD gained a little bit more performance, though it is still almost within margin of error because this uh, game doesn't have a fixed benchmark and it is played manually so the margin of error here is somewhat larger so does this change our original conclusions from the review the short answer is no because the average performance gain of the new driver in the games that we here tested for the nvidia rtx 2080 is just two percent which if we add the whole bunch of the game we used should be even less for the amd side it is interesting somewhat that there were a few fluctuations of the performance but on the average the performance is basically the same so the results still remain the same that's it for today have a good day bye